Vitamin B12 deficiency can occur due to several reasons. This very common and critical deficiency is often ignored by physicians. However, if you experience signs and symptoms such as fatigue, weakness, neurological changes, mental health issues, anemia, or gastrointestinal symptoms, be on the lookout for this deficiency and talk to your doctor to get tested. There are several causes of vitamin B12 deficiency. Dietary insufficiency is common in vegetarians and vegans since B12 is mainly found in animal products. Malabsorption can occur in conditions like pernicious anemia, celiac disease, or Crohn's disease. Certain medications like metformin and proton pump inhibitors can affect B12 absorption. Age-related changes such as reduced stomach acid in older adults can also impact B12 absorption. Gastric surgeries like gastric bypass surgery can affect the body's ability to extract B12 from food. There is a complex and indirect relationship between B12 deficiency and insulin resistance. While B12 deficiency itself does not cause insulin resistance, the pathways associated with B12 metabolism can impact factors related to insulin resistance. Metformin, a common medication used to treat type 2 diabetes, can lead to B12 deficiency. Elevated homocysteine levels, which can occur in B12 deficiency, have been linked to insulin resistance in cardiovascular diseases. B12 deficiency can also lead to increased oxidative stress and inflammation in the body, exacerbating insulin resistance. Deficiencies in B12 might alter metabolic pathways, potentially influencing insulin resistance. In diabetic patients, particularly those with type 1 diabetes who are dependent on insulin injections, B12 deficiency can exacerbate peripheral neuropathy. Common signs and symptoms of vitamin B12 deficiency include fatigue and weakness, neurological changes such as numbness and tingling in the hands and feet, mental health issues like depression, confusion, or memory problems, anemia manifesting as pallor and shortness of breath, and gastrointestinal symptoms including nausea, diarrhea, or loss of appetite. To get tested for vitamin B12 deficiency, a combination of laboratory tests and clinical assessment is usually done. The best approach to testing depends on the individual patient's symptoms, risk factors, and overall clinical context. The primary test is a serum vitamin B12 level test. It is also important to test methylmalonic acid and homocysteine level to get complete picture of B12 deficiency. Remember, if you experience any signs or symptoms of vitamin B12 deficiency, it is important to consult with your doctor and get tested.